Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Sorry, I'm distracted. I got a bunch of people in the waiting room trying to let them in. <clears throat> so you're in for a real treat today. Uh, for those of you who have uh, been in uh, a session with uh, Len Schwartz before, you know he is uh, a master at what he does. And so uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to turn this over to Len. And uh, do me a favor, for those of you who can, please turn your cameras on. Len would love to see your smiling, happy faces um, as he walks you through this material today. Thanks, Len. Take it away. And it looks like you are muted still, Len. <laughs> okay, I was, what I said was before I take my mask off, has everyone been vaccinated? Okay, good, good, all right, then I can, and I feel more comfortable doing that, so. Um, okay, well, so thanks for being here, I appreciate it. And um, this is my first ever mastermind, so you'll have to bear with me. And I, I would love this to be interactive. I, I would love the, I would love some participation. I'd love to see your questions on the side there. And I'm happy to answer your questions as we go along. I do actually have an agenda. I don't know if we'll get to everything, but we'll do the best we can. And um, as I said, as we go along, if you put your hand up or thumb up or whatever it is, then of course, I'm happy to answer your questions and I'll try to show you some things. Rick, will I be able to share my screen? Yes, sir, you're all set. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, so, uh, you know, what I'd, like to, what I'd like everyone to get out of today's session actually is at least five actionable ideas that you could put into place today and that will help you grow your business, that'll help you get new referrals. And so I'm going to, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at as a goal that everyone takes away at least five ideas. Even if you take away just three that you say, okay, I can do that. And I can do that starting today, then I would be pretty happy. But one thing I'm going to do even before I get started is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you something that you need to know that is is anybody here, let me put up a different view so I can see almost everybody. Is anybody here working with buyers now at all? Anybody working with buyers? Okay, there's a few of you. Good, I'm glad to see that. Okay, excellent. So do any of you have a, a search set up for your buyers in the MLS so that when something becomes active, they know about it right away? All right, okay, good. What you need to do if you aren't already, let me just share my screen quickly and see if, where would that be? Is that this one here? I think so. Yeah, okay. Hopefully everyone can see that. Um, what we're accustomed to doing historically is checking the active box such that when something becomes active, it sends you, if you're in concierge mode, it sends you an email or if you're not in concierge mode, it sends it to your clients. Very important that you go back and look at all your searches and make sure that you click your coming soon box because you wanna know about the listing prior to it coming on market when everyone else who's watching coming soon knows and you want your clients to know about it too so that you can make a showing appointment earlier than, than most other people. And I know people aren't using that because we're using coming soon for our listings and you should be also, if you're not already. And as soon as we post coming soon, we get a whole bunch of appointments set up, but when it becomes active three, four or five days later, all of a sudden a bunch of new appointments are coming up. So if you don't have that box checked as coming soon for your clients, you need to do that right away. So go through all of your searches and make sure that both active and coming soon are, are, are selected. Okay, so that's a real simple, just, you know, actionable idea that you could use right now. Okay, now, how do I go back to here? I don't. See, I'm learning a little bit. So um, in terms of unsharing, <laughs> I unshared you, Len, you're all set. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Okay, let's talk about uh, referrals. So as Rick said, our business is probably at this point about 80, Shelly's here to help me. 
um, about 80, 80, 85, about 85 percent referral based, meaning that we're getting 85 percent of our leads from people who we consider to be advocates, previous clients, uh, friends, family, etc. Um, you have to work at that. You have to work really hard at that. Okay. So um, the first thing we're going to talk about is your database. How many people here have a usable database someplace where they can actually access it and have it work for them? Okay. There's a lot of people who just have pictures, so I don't know for sure. Um, really important, whatever you're using, that you have a database that can work for you. And when I say that, I mean that it can remind you of important occasions and opportunities to talk to your client base, okay? So our goal is, and this is a very reasonable goal for everyone here, is to add at least one name per week or 50 per year to our database of, of people who we consider to be opportunities to generate referrals one a week that's only one a week so somebody that you meet almost anywhere it could be at the grocery store it could be at the gym it could be at a party it could be at a networking event add those people to your database and start to communicate with them regularly all right now we sort our database based on their likelihood of sending us a referral so the upper echelon the upper echelon are people who have already sent us referrals. So they have indicated to us that they A, are willing to send a referral and B, know how to send a referral to us. So those people are our first class flyers. The next level of people would be those who have verbally indicated or in one way or shape have indicated that they would send us a referral had they given us the opportunity, had they whether the, if the opportunity presented itself. So that's our second level of customer or client or advocate. And then the third level, the C's, are those people that um, we just started working with, we just met, um, whatever, you know, wherever you meet them, when you add them to your beta database, they generally go in as our sort of everyone else. And those are the C's, all right? Now, the A's, we treat differently than the B's and we treat the B's differently than the C's. So the A's, of course, um, we more frequently contact. We're in touch with them more often. We invite them to more things. We send them more things. We're more generous, so to speak, with the A's than we are with the B's and we are with the C's. The C's, the goal is to get our C's up to A's, uh, to B's and our B's up to A's. An A means that they've sent us a referral. So. How many people here have some way of, of grading their database? Okay, I see a few hands up. I can't, if you're, if you're not, if I don't see a picture of you, you're welcome to um, click on that. Where is that little hand thing on the bottom that says, okay, here are the reactions, under reactions, you could do that. And, uh, and that indicates that you're saying yes, thumbs up. Okay, cool. Um, any questions at all so far? If you guys have ideas that you want to share, then I want to hear your ideas and I would love to let everyone else hear your ideas. So don't be shy, okay? Don't be shy. Now, um, maintaining your database, very important wherever you keep it. You want, to keep, you want to make sure that everyone in your database are still people who could potentially send you referrals. Nurturing your database. Main thing about nurturing your database is staying in touch with people on a very, very consistent basis. All right, so our A's, we probably touch 40 times a year. And by that, I mean, we either call them, meet with them, stop by and visit them, have an event that they're invited to, email them, send them a note, send them a greeting of some sort. Um, and to some degree, also social media them. Let's talk about social media. So I call it uh, social surveillance, actually. I call it social surveillance. Now, the important thing about social media is it tells you everything about your database's life, which gives you reasons to reach out to them. It's nice to give a thumbs up or a heart. 
it's nice to send a little message on their birthday, but it is way, way better to call them. So this is a number one actionable idea that you could start today. And that is many of you, if not all of you are on Facebook or other forms of social media. What you need to be doing is watching closely what events are taking place in your database's life, lives. By the way, they should all of course be there. You should be connected with your database on social media such that you can start to keep, a, keep track of important events in their lives. Important events are job promotion, um, a birthday, anniversary, um, children's birthdays, graduations, all those things that give you reasons to reach out and touch someone. And when I say touch someone, I mean, make a phone call. How many people here still know how to make phone calls to their database? Okay, I'm pleased to see that. I'm really pleased to see that. I didn't see a whole lot of thumbs up. Um, so social media, what I call social surveillance is tracking your database and making sure that you are reaching out to them on a very regular basis, especially when there's a special occasion. And by the way, when there's a special occasion, that occasion needs to go into your database so that you don't have to be reminded by Facebook next year that it's their anniversary, that that's an important time to give them a call or send a card without being reminded by social media. All right, anybody have any thoughts on that? Anything that you're doing to stay in touch with your database and using social media? Don't always talk at once. If you wanna say something, do give us some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, notice and we'll, and, and Rick or somebody will turn you on. Okay. Christine. Christine. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna agree with, with Len, um, being on social media and it's a great way to start those conversations. You get birthday alerts, but also look through their feeds, see what's happening in their lives, ask them about it, then take the conversation offline. You can text them or call them, but um, it's a great source of information and a great way to reach out to your database. It is, it is. And by the way, it's not always happy occasions because we, you know, if someone's pet dies, then we like to send them a, a condolence card, a pet condolence card. If someone's grandmother dies, we're not gonna send them a pet condolence card, but we will send them a condolence card. We will send cards for virtually any, any occasion because that's another touch. And that says to your database that you, that they matter to you that they count, that they're important to you, that you're gonna take the time, not just to do something on Facebook, but to actually write a note and mail it to them, far more meaningful, far more meaningful than something on Facebook. And I'm not an anti-Facebook, I use Facebook all the time. In fact, I'm gonna show you what I do on Facebook, but that's, it's not as impactful as actually sending someone a card in the mail. And we're, we have it set up now thank God for Shelly, our team, my team manager, that um, our cards for the entire birth, the entire month's events go out on the first of the month. So we just automatically send it the first week of the month, anybody who has a birthday, an anniversary, very importantly, a closing anniversary. If you sold them a house or sold their house, then every year after that, you should be reaching out on the phone and sending a note card of some sort to say, hey, congratulations. We hope your first year in your home was amazing and every year hereafter gets even better. Really important because that's another touch and you wanna consistently keep in touch with your clients and, and do things that show that they're meaningful to you, that they're meaningful to you. Just okay. to add to that, um, look for things related to their kids as well. We saw that one of our former clients' kids had received some ranking in the Boy Scouts. So we sent a letter directly to the child. Um, I'm pretty sure we got a letter back from him, which is not uncommon. If you can connect with their child, it's so meaningful to them because you're, you're not only showing interest in the potential of doing business with them, you're showing interest in their life and something that's clearly very important to them. Yeah. Really, really great point. Um, we do keep our, our, our database kids' birthdays in our database so that we can send them birthday cards. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten an email 
or a note, a handwritten note from a child saying, thank you so much for the card. Thank you so much. And actually that young, young man who was born when I sold them their first home um, is about 10 years old now. And we sent him a little um, like a, a, a donut card from, from, uh, from um, one of the donut places. And he was thrilled and his parents were thrilled. So it's really a nice thing to put, to add to your list of things to do to stay in touch with clients and, and people on your database. Did I hear someone who wanted to make a comment or suggestion? Okay. Um, what I am gonna do actually is show you what I do on Facebook. When, when there is a birthday or a special occasion, I want to open something up first so that I can share it. Let's see, that's going to be here. That's going to be here. And congrats from the Lynch Schwartz team, right? Okay, so now I'm going to share again. Okay, so just so you know, I do post on Facebook. I assume everybody can see that now, correct? Is that correct? I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> I think so. Um, so this is simply a JPEG that we created and it's a, a wedding or anniversary or engagement congratulations from the Len Schwartz team. And we post that on people's Facebook page when there's a special occasion, we have one for birthdays and one for special occasions. Um, I think I think I can open up another one. Am I correct? And you guys will see it. Uh, happy birthday. Here we go. Are you able to see that? Okay, so this is happy birthday from the Len Schwartz team. Why do I do that? I do that for, for one simple reason. I, well, obviously, because I want to wish them a happy birthday or a congratulations, but also because it exposes our name and brand to their friends. And almost every time the people who see it, who receive it, will, will also like it, heart it, or write a comment about it, thanking us. So it builds our brand as the real estate people, the real estate agent or the real estate team um, of preference for our database. This is another very simple, actionable idea that you could start today. These are all stock photos. All you need to do is adapt them for your needs and start posting them instead of just saying a happy birthday. Happy birthday, very simple thing to do, okay. Thank you. Um, okay, let's talk about um, referral stories on Facebook. So um, we love to be able to post our clients uh, when they closed on a house. Many of you are already doing that, which I think is a great idea. You wanna say something about, here's a client we've been working with. We found them their dream home. It's their first home. It's their downsize home, whatever it is. We also started making a donation on their behalf. And the donation is made when they close to a charity of their choice. We have seven charities that we partner with, all lower Fairfield County, well-known in different areas. So a health charity, uh, environmental charity, a pets charity, and so forth. We share, we, we, we share those charities with our clients. And I believe that I have that open somewhere here. Here we go. Um, and so once again, I have to share, that's not it. Sorry about that, I'm not as tech savvy as I sound. Um, <laughs> I should have had you doing this, right? Okay, here we go, is it this here? Okay, there we go, sorry about that, here we go. Um, it's this one here, great. Sorry about that, guys. We're learning, living and learning. Okay, so this is the sheet that has on it the seven charities that we partnered with this year. Um, there's a little blurb about each of them, and then there's your choice. So we hand this out the very first time we meet somebody when we're working on taking a listing 
or our listing appointment or when we meet them at our buyer's consult. And we let them know that when they close, we're gonna make a very nice donation to one of their, one of these charities or a charity of their choice. Very, very well received. And we then, of course, when we post the picture of them in front of their new home, we also mention the charity that they chose. Okay, a very simple thing to do. You don't have to make an enormous donation. We don't ever tell people how much the donation is. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the thought and the idea that we're making a donation to a charity that's important to you when we, uh, you know, when we close on your home. In addition to that, equally important, when we receive a referral from anybody, whether it's somebody who's currently in our database or somebody outside of the database, for instance, another realtor anywhere in the country, we also make a donation to a charity of their choice. So it's a twofold thing. We get to talk about the referral. We get to talk about when you close, we're making that donation. A very simple thing to do and a very simple thing to add to your toolbox of things that you do for clients, okay? Okay, let's talk, any, any questions, uh, post your questions in, uh, somebody asked if we can, if you can have the charity choice slide from your presentation, absolutely, we can certainly do that. We will get that out to you. Um, what else? Get you hired over the competition. I'm looking for any questions here. If you wanna log on, you can ask. You can, you can let me know if there's any questions, so, okay. Great. Okay, if you have any questions, just raise your hand or hit your thumbs up or whatever it is, and, and I'm happy to answer. I love answering questions. It's a lot easier to answer questions than to make this stuff up. Okay. Len, Len Ryan has a question. Are you posting the donations for the referrals to social media also? Um, we do sometimes, we don't always, but that actually is a, is a great idea and certainly easy to do and certainly easy to do. So great, great, great suggestion. That's why we do masterminds. So, and again, it's not about the amount that we're donating. It's the, it's the idea that we are making a donation. And, and, and I will tell you that now when I open up my listing presentation, it is the first thing I talk about. It is the first thing I talk about because it is meaningful to 98% of the people that we meet. It is meaningful that we're doing something for the community and we want you to choose what organization we're going to make that donation to. All right, cool. Um, okay, let's talk about being social. Um, this is a very social business and we love to be social. We love to go out and meet with our clients as often as we can. Um, and I suggest a few times a week. Now, obviously with COVID, everything changed because we used to do four or five events a year. And now we've had to change that. So our events look very differently and we'll get to that in a moment. But what we call Popeyes or short visits to people in our database, particularly those that have previously sent us referrals. Now, we always bring something and it's usually something that is useful and timely. So for instance, this summer's Popeye gift is this, all right? We buy these for six, $7 at Costco, perfect for barbecues, okay? And along with that comes a card because you always have to remind people that we're all about the referrals. So the card looks like this. I feel like, you know, hey, where's the camera? Um, and it says on there, just popping by to catch up and let you know that I relish your referrals from your realtor who really cuts the mustard. Okay? Funny, clever, fun, it says referrals. Everything we do says referrals. We're always reminding people how important referrals are. Okay, let's talk about a few others because again, it's not about how much money you're spending to bring the gift. It's about the fact that you're willing to go to their home, stop by. If you need to be socially distanced, that's fine. Sometimes it's just a question of leaving it at the front door. People ask me all the time, well, what if they're not there? Sometimes we call in advance and say, I'm in your neighborhood, I'm gonna stop by. If not, then what you do is you leave it by the front door with the card 
and you take a little picture on your phone and say, sorry, I missed you. And you text them the picture. So when they get home, they know who it was from. So still a visit. You didn't get to see them. You didn't get to have that little chat about real estate, but it's still a visit. Let's talk about a few others that we've done. I've done this one here. These are the greatest things ever if you use corn holders because they snap together so that you, when you reach your hand in the drawer, you don't stick your finger. They're so cool. They're only six bucks over at um, Bed Bath and Beyond. And the card that goes with that, if I can find it, it's here. It says here, that's what the card looks like. And it says, don't let friends get burned, refer them to a pro. Perfect for summertime barbecuing. This doesn't take that much thinking. And if you don't have the idea, let us know, we'll share them with you. That one's easy. Also, Google has so many ideas. So yeah. you go look on Etsy or Pinterest or whatever, and you'll find a thousand clever ideas for free. Um, okay, we dropped off pumpkins for families with young kids right before Halloween. And this one, if you can't read it, says, um, we can't mask our appreciation for your referrals. Thank you for your trust and support. That word referral, really important. Because you have to remind people, you have to remind people probably 10 to 20 times if they're not predisposed to sending you a referral, you have to remind them 10 to 20 times about your business and your growth and your future relies on those referrals. Some people who are in a sales industry just get it. But I will tell you that probably 75% of the people that I work with on a regular basis never thought about referrals. So you really do have to get that part. You have to drill that in. By the way, people ask me all the time. I'm sure someone has this question out there. When do you first start talking about referrals with your clients? When we first meet, the first time we meet. And it's usually the, 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 the dialogue goes something like this. We wouldn't have been sitting here together if your friends, John and Jane, didn't refer you to me. So I do want to let you know that if, in fact, you appreciate the service that I provide, I would like you to keep in mind that that's how my business grows. And so if you come across someone like yourself who's looking to sell in the near future, I would appreciate that you would let me know about it or someone who's looking to buy. And that reminder happens a number of times during the process when we're working together. And I will tell you that once someone goes into contract when they're pending and they have a little bit of a breather, that's the most likely time that they will make a referral to you. They're feeling good about where they are. They're feeling good about the host house that they found or the buyer that they found. And they're thanking you and appreciate you for helping them get to that point. That's the time when you have to speak with them every week. And you're speaking with them every week to check in on them, to make sure they know what the next step in the process is. And to say, by the way, if you happen to know someone who's thinking about selling, please keep me in mind. So that is a constant process. And you don't ever have to feel awkward about asking if you've done a great job getting them to that point. Okay, this one here says, this is a winter one. This comes with a, an ice scraper for your car. It says, because your referrals are so nice, here's a gift to break the ice. Okay, this one, back to school is coming up. Back to school is one of my favorite times, late August, early September, to bring Popeye gifts. This one says, my clients, my clients are the highlight of my day. It comes with a set of highlighters, and thank you for your referrals. You know, it's like an eight pack of highlighters, which is great for kids going to school, but it's also great for someone just for business. Um, and again, very simple idea. This is another immediate action. I a I immediate actionable idea. You can do this now. You go over to Staples, buy yourself 20 packs of, of, uh, of um, highlighters and do a little card like this. 
On the back of the card, by the way, we have one of two things. Usually what we put is the markets that we work in. So this has a list of the eight or 10 markets that we do business. And sometimes we will also have how easy it is to send us a referral, step one, two, three. So we'll, in, we'll, we'll switch those off. Referrals are as easy as ask your friend, neighbor, or associate or colleague if they have a realtor. If not, tell them about me and ask them if it would be okay if I called them. And number three, call or text me with their name and contact information. So that's the back of the card. You have to remind, you have to let, you have to teach people how to make referrals. You really do. You have to teach, unless they've been in the sales business where they depend on referrals, you have to teach people how to make referrals. Okay, another one. So simple. Everybody can use a tape measure. Eight bucks at Home Depot. When it comes to friends and family, you need an agent who will go the distance. My gratitude for your referrals is immeasurable. So simple and so useful. People, I mean, come on, tape measures? Everybody needs another tape measure, so. Okay, I'll do one more. Um, by the way, you're welcome to have all these ideas. Go ahead and use them. Um, this one's a little bit edgy, but I'm okay with edgy. Of course, you have to know who you're sending them to. This is a, again, Home Depot, about eight bucks. It's one of these multi-screwdrivers that has a bunch of different bits. Who can't use that in their car, their office, their home? It says, friends don't let friends get screwed by other agents. Okay, again, you have to know who you're giving that to, but it's fun. I mean, that's a laugh. And this is all about thank you for your referrals. Thank you for your referrals. Okay, very simple. Next up, any other, any questions on that? You got to get out and visit people. You got to get out and visit people. You got to go see them. If you, if you know you're going to be in the neighborhood of someone who's an advocate or prior client, go see them. Just stop in and visit. Just knock on the door. Call and say, I'm in your neighborhood. I'm going to stop by. I have something for you. Actually, I was just thinking about, you know, summer drinks, rosé, a bottle of rosé wine. You know, your referrals are so... You, I, I, want to, I want to help you see the real estate market through my rose-colored glasses. Your referrals are make my day rosy or something like that. I mean, you just, you, you can find these things either online or you can make them up. So a bottle of rosé. Okay. We talked about the charity, charitable endeavors, relationship with organizations, uh, donations on closing, sponsorships. Okay. Let's talk for a moment about working with a charity with which or whom you already work. Hey, Lynn, so, before, you hit, before you hit sponsorships, I think Ryan had a question on the last piece. Go ahead, Ryan. Okay, go ahead, Ryan. Thanks, Rick. Uh, just a quick question. So I assume these are sort of, as you mentioned before, your A, Bs, and Cs. These are more your As or Bs that you're doing the pop by gift for. And then how often, so for me, I, I don't have a huge database yet of, you know, referral, either past clients or people that are referring me business. Yep. I don't want to bombard them with a, with a, tool chest of, of stuff. So how often would you recommend doing something like this? Is this like once a year or? Okay. So uh, it's a great question. So let's talk about the database. So I consider anybody who likes you, who's a friend of yours, who's a relative, who you've done business with and still likes you should be in your database, your neighbors, your colleagues, your, you know, people that you know from other endeavors, from the gym, from a, from a, a networking group, all those people should be in your database. So that's a good start. The answer to your question is the A's love to see us. So we'll go by and see them 12 times a year if we can. Now, obviously with COVID that's changed and we started to do a few things uh, on, you know, by, by Zoom, much like this, where we invite people to sit in on the Zoom um, and, and different events. So for instance, we did an ice cream social, which I'm gonna share with you. And we did that right here in the parking lot where we invited as many people from our database as we possibly could. So the invitation went out to 400 people. Now, we only had about 40 to 50 people show up, but that's a great number. That gave us 40 to 50 opportunities to say hello, hello and shake hands and give someone ice cream. So there are ways to, to, you know, to engage people, to get to see them face to face 
without actually having to go to their house. But the answer to your question is, if we can get to our A's four times a year, five times a year, we're thrilled. If we can get to our B's twice a year, we're thrilled. And if we can get to our C's once a year, we're thrilled. And if we can do more often than that, then even better. And if we can do an event where we can see 40 or 50 people, even better. Um, so yeah, so we, um, you know, I'm always, try, you know, I like to do a lot of lunches, breakfast, coffees with people. Typically that's gonna be one or two people uh, in the database, but also a really great opportunity to talk about real estate and talk about your experience. So set a goal, another IAI, immediate actionable idea of one or two a week one or two coffees, breakfasts, lunches, a drink after work per week with one or two or three people from your database. That's all you really need to do. Now, can you do three or four or one a day? Of course, absolutely. But the important thing is that you need to get in front of them. There's no better way to talk about your, um, at, what, what you offer clients than actually spending a half an hour or 45 minutes with them at, at, at coffee. So, um, so I, I recommend that you, that you do that like right now, like right now. So our A's, uh, A's yeah. So, and, and by the way, when you add up all of the times we reach out and touch these people, you're probably looking at A's 40 to 50 times and B's 30 times and C's maybe 20. So they're still, you know, we're, we're, we're reaching them on their birthday, we're reaching them on their holiday, we're sending videos, which I'm gonna talk about right now. Um, we're, we're inviting them to some kind of event or events. There's a lot of ways that we touch them. And the goal is to touch them often enough and, and mention the referral piece often enough so that it really starts to sink in and you will see a change. Now, we don't ask for referrals on, on anniversaries and birthdays and Christmas because we think that's a bit awkward. Um, and we certainly don't ask for referrals when we're sending a, a condolence card. But for everything else, for an anniversary on, their, on the closing of their home, we're gonna ask for a referral. So, um, uh, and, and other, events, we might ask for referrals. If, they're, if we're seeing them face to face, then we certainly are. And we certainly are. So, um, so sponsorship. So I'm, if you know me, if you know me, um, I'm very connected with the Alzheimer's Association. I'm also connected with Silver Source, which services seniors. The people that know me within those organizations know that I make a very generous donation if they send a referral my way. And I actually send them, I show them a form, which I'm going to show you now, um, that talks about my devotion to the organization. So let's see, if I go to marketing charities and friends helping friends. So I'm gonna show you the one that I did for Alzheimer's. Okay. Uh, now I have to go back here and I have to share and I have to pick this and there we go. And I say share. Okay. So this is a flyer that I created for the Alzheimer's Association. And I've done this for other organizations too. And basically it says friends helping friends helping Alzheimer's Association, how can I help you? If you or anyone you know, well, I don't have to read it for you, you can read it, so. Um, is looking for a realtor, I will guarantee they'll have an exceptional experience, ensure that they get the best possible price for their home, et cetera, et cetera, and how can you help me? If you know somebody who is looking to sell a home, buy or sell a home, let, the, let me know about it so I can take great care of them. And I actually, with the Alzheimer's Association, because it's so near and dear to me, because my dad passed of Alzheimer's, I give them a 10% donation from my net professional fee to the Alzheimer's Association. Now, again, it's not about the money. You don't have to put a percent in there. You don't have to put a number in there. You just have to say, I'm willing to make that donation. So um, another thing that you can do as a sponsor, a sponsor for an organization that you 
that you like and appreciate and work with. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about video because I love to send out video and we do bomb bomb, but you can do these, you can do these with, um, uh, with any video platform. So certainly if you want to do it on YouTube, you can do it on YouTube and send a link out. We love bomb bomb because we were able to track how many people opened it and how many people watched it. And the reason we like it is number one, it's much more interactive. So they're getting a piece of our personality and that's important. Number two, I can ask for a referral as opposed to write an email about a referral. And number three, the open rate is exceptional. The open rate is 30 or more percent, 30 to 40 percent. And the response rate is amazing. We get such great responses. So I'm going to show you a few of the bomb bombs that we sent out. They're very amateur from a, from a production standpoint, although I don't want to belittle what Shelly does because she makes them look amazing when they go out in an email. But I'm not an actor, as you'll see. And I don't care because it's my personality coming through and anybody here can do the same. So I'm gonna do another share and I'm gonna bring up. Okay. And make sure when you share these that you click on the little button at the bottom left that says share computer sound. Ah, okay, thank you. Um, I'm looking for, that's desktop. Hmm. I don't see it on here. And I wonder if I did something wrong. Let me try this. Because I had it open. Ah, here it is. No, that's that's the finder. Whiteboard. Which one of your videos are you looking for? Because I have a bunch of them too, Lynn. Um, well, I wanted to, what I, I was actually on the bomb bomb site and I don't see it here right now. I did just open it. Let me try this again. Well, I see that. If I try, let me try this again. Cause I have, I have it open. What's that? Below desktop button. Here. Oh, thank you. Okay. See, that's why I have my tech genius here. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, did I click? I don't think I did what I was supposed to do, what Rick said. <laughs> Share sound. Okay, let's try this again. I go like that. I click share sound. Okay, there we go. Okay. Thanks, right? Yeah, the one below that. And this one, optimized for video clip. Oh, no. And this one here. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. All right, so uh, I'm going to start with the ice cream social video. Again, important to note that at the end of every video, I ask for referrals. In one way or form, I ask for referrals because that's the reminder, the constant reminder. So I think everyone can see this. Can everyone see this? Some notes of chocolate and a cool, overwhelming hint of vanilla. Ooh, chocolate, hint of vanilla, and even some cinnamon overtones. Hint of chocolate and a bit of a nutty flavor to that. Nice, cool finish. Oh, welcome to Len's ice cream tasting. Glad you can make it. I'd like to invite you this Saturday to our ice cream social at our office on Summer Street between 1 and 3 p.m. We're gonna have a big ice cream truck. Join us anytime between one and three and have some free ice cream on us as our way of saying thank you for being part of our family. And if between now and then you let us know about anybody who's looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, we will also give you a gift card for a wonderful ice cream store near you. We hope to see you this Saturday. We'll be there. Will you? Okay, and, and so what we did was we hired an ice cream truck 
We put him down in the parking lot down there. We put up a tent, a small tent, and, um, and we invited people to come by to grab ice cream. They could either stick around and chat for a while, which most people did, or, um, or just grab an ice cream and go. And the cost, how much was the cost of the ice cream truck? $400, something like $400, $400 for up to, I don't know, 50 people. And then, you know, 250 per person after that, something like that. Very reasonable, very reasonable to get 40 advocates face to face in a two hour period. Not a bad idea. We also did on Pi Day, P-I, Pi Day, March 14th, we did a pass, a drive by pizza which is this one. I presume you guys can see that, right? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hi. Nice to see you. I'm sitting outside Planet Pizza on Summer Street to remind you to get your order in for your free pizza on Pi Day 3.14, Sunday, March 14th. You get to order a cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza, and then stop by on Sunday between four and six, and we will hand it to you absolutely free. But wait, there's more. It gets better if you give us the name of someone who's looking to buy or sell real estate between now and then, and we will throw in a two liter bottle of Coke or Diet Coke. It doesn't get better than that. Get your order in, and I'll see you on Sunday. Mm. Okay, again, not too complicated. And how many people did we have drive by? Like 30? 30. Yeah, so a socially distance, a socially distance drive by pizza pickup. And we barely, I mean, they do everything, they do the, obviously they, we buy the pizzas from them and Shelly does all the work. God bless her. <laughs> she does all the work, but um, it's not, it's not, it's something that anybody, you guys can do that. You guys can do that. Um, I'm gonna show you Halloween. We try to do a bomb bomb for every occasion, for every holiday. Uh, again, you'll see the, the, the uh, reference to referrals in this also. Hey folks, it's Len from the Len Schwartz team, your Realtors for Life. I'm just hanging out with some of my friends waiting for Halloween. This is Boney, and that's James, and this is Skelly. No, not Shelly, Skelly. Anyway, we all wish you a very happy, healthy, and safe Halloween this year. We hope you enjoy your families, and if you happen to know anybody who's thinking about selling a haunted castle, let us know because Inventory is frighteningly low. I think I'm gonna take this off. I'm not gonna infect anyone in this crowd. Inventory is frighteningly low, and we would love to help them out. In fact, if you know anyone who's thinking about selling any kind of castle, let us know. We would love to work with them. And once again, have a happy Halloween. I'll do one last one. This is for, last, for, for Hanukkah last year. Um, and, uh, again, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just about having some fun, getting your face, your personality, your name out there in front of your database. So, well, folks, that wraps up this year's episode of Hanukkah cooking with Len, your realtor for life. If you're just tuning in, I'm so sorry you missed the episode. I showed you how to make my delectable potato latkes. But that's okay. If you reply to this email, we'll send you the recipe. And be sure to vote for applesauce or sour cream. Which one belongs on the delectable potato pancakes? The Len Schwartz team wishes you a wonderful, safe Hanukkah. And we hope to see you real soon. Okay. So I forgot for, for the holidays, we don't ask for referrals. I don't think it's appropriate. So for Christmas and for Hanukkah and New Year's, we don't, uh, we don't ask for referrals. So any questions on that? I do that on my phone with a little tripod and I just, I send the video 
to Shelly and God bless her. She, she edits it and gets it ready for, for uh, prime time. By the way, some of these we actually do put on Facebook also. So if it's not specifically targeted to the database, we'll put it on Facebook. So I want at least 25% of you to do a video this week or next week, maybe you wanna do a back to school, a Labor Day weekend, something like that video and, and send it out to your, to your database. Send it out to your database. You just put, put it on YouTube. If you don't want it, you actually, there's a trial version of BombBomb that's free for a month or on YouTube and get it out there and, and talk about the referrals. And a nice way to talk about the referrals is simply how grateful we are for you helping me grow my business. I'm incredibly grateful that if you're receiving this video in some form, you've helped me grow my, my, my uh, business and I appreciate your referrals. So it's not like in your face looking for business, it's just a thank you. Questions on that? Anything else I can, I can answer on that? Homework, oh good, I appreciate it. Whoever's typing those in, thank you very much. Good, Tony. Yeah. Shelly wants to add something. Um, so I think Jason Abrams actually might have mentioned this on the Zoom, but um, you guys have a great opportunity now to do what's called a care call. Uh, numbers for COVID are going up. Clearly restrictions are being put back into place. So use this as an opportunity to start calling your database. Don't ask for referrals. Don't talk about business. Make it about them and how they and their family are doing. It's an easy way to just ease into it right now. And you know, after this point, you can then start uh, with your call system, with your bomb bombs. Um, but a care call will go a long way, and it's a very easy call to do. Thank you. Hey, Len. Yes. This has been awesome. I'm so glad I showed up for it. What about the the, the video graphics? Were were very clever. How did you do that? Um, is that through iMovie? Oh, it's uh, uh, Shelly uses iMovie for that. So okay app called video shop it's a little bit more user friendly um you could edit directly on your phone so it's pretty easy to do but um imovie it's not that hard to pick up if you have access to it um and there's plenty of resources online super um the other thing i will share with you is that if you do decide to go with bomb bomb um they have templates for pretty much everything for holidays, for birthdays, for anniversaries. I mean, you name it, they have templates. So all you do is pop it into the template, put your logo in there and you're good to go. Uh, and I know there are other services out there that offer similar uh, options. Uh, I just, as I said, I, I've been working with BombBomb Bomb now for must be seven, eight years. And it took me a real long time to get started and feel comfortable with it. But I realized that there's no better way to share my personality with the clients that appreciate me. And so that's why I'm so big on video. So we try to get out, as I said, at every holiday and any other special occasion, like for instance, um, uh, 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 what was the last one that we sent out for um, Red Day, Red Day. We sent one out for Red Day and that was great. You know, that the one that we did for Red Day was simply, you know, this year we're collect we were collecting money for the food bank and uh, you know we appreciate anything you can donate. And we took donations. It was a click-through donation type thing. Um, so if you know, there are so many reasons that you can send out videos. We were doing uh, we were doing um, Monday morning um, uh, market updates, and you can do that once a month and just share what the latest data data is on certain of your markets. And as you can see now, inventory is incredibly low. So. If you happen to know somebody who's thinking about selling, now would be a great time. Please put me in touch with them. So it's easy to, to weave that story together. It's easy to, easy to weave that story together. Um, let's see, anything else? Well, the last thing I do, uh, I, I will talk about is snail mail because we still use snail mail. And I, I, I honestly believe that when you send someone a note or a card or a letter, that's handwritten and hand signed, it is way, way more impactful than an email or a text. And I do use emails and texts. And we actually also use um, slide dial, which leaves people voicemails right before our events. But 
I really take a lot of pride and enjoy writing notes to people for special occasions. And I will share with you, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Dollar Tree, but that place is unbelievable. <laughs> they have the best card section in the world and every card is only a dollar. So when I go there once in a while and I stock up on every kind of card and imaginable, um, and then we're constantly sending them out, constantly. Um, and it's really important th for, for any kind of event, for instance, you know, somebody reached a certain achievement or there's a new job um, or, you know, 50th anniversary, whatever it is, to get cards out there, handwritten note cards from you, from you. And I, I'll also share with you that we use, we have one other sort of trick that we use, and that is, what's it called? Handwritten. It's called, hand, it's a good name for it, handwritten, W R. I'll spell it out in the chat. Okay, Shelly's gonna put it in the chat. Now, handwritten actually allows you to send out cards that are handwritten by machine. So you give them the, what, they, what you want written. So for instance, if it's the first anniversary of someone's home purchase, the card's gonna be pretty much the same except for the names you write in the card. So we just upload that information and this machine literally handwrites them. And I will tell you, you will not know the difference between what's handwritten and whether you wrote it yourself. And they have a choice of like 50 different handwriting too. Good to know. But doesn't mean you shouldn't stop writing notes. You really need to be writing notes. You need to get, and, and again, set yourself a goal. Another, another IAI, immediate actionable idea. Set yourself a goal of three notes a week and find reasons to send out notes, whether it's a birthday or something you saw on Facebook or whatever it happens to be, or haven't spoken to you in a while, just wanted to touch base. And, and all of those types of notes outside of really birthday, you can always say, and by the way, if you happen to know somebody, PS, if you happen to know somebody thinking about buying or selling, I would love to know about it. You can even, you know, you can actually get a rubber stamp and put it on the back of the envelope that says, you know, a, a lot of you have on your business cards, the greatest compliment you can give me is a referral to a friend or family member or neighbor. Get yourself a rubber stamp, another IAI, immediate actionable idea. Over at, uh, at you can order it online or, or go down to um, Staples and get yourself a rubber stamp so that on the back of every envelope you send out, it's going to say, the greatest compliment you can give me is a referral to a friend. Really simple, really simple to do. We're, we're, we're winding down just a little bit time left. I would love to answer some questions if anybody has some questions or comments or suggestions or other ideas. That's what a mastermind is supposed to be. Uh, can you please remind me of how you raised I have a uh, question. Okay, remind me on the A, B, and C. So, our database is fully based on, refer, on, on the prospect of sending us a referral. So A's are people, they're the first class passengers. They've already sent us a referral. We even have an A plus for people who have sent us more than one referral. So those are people ha who have clearly indicated by their action that they're an A, that they're a first class you know, flyer. The B's are people who have either written us or told us that they would send us a referral given the opportunity. We're looking out for you, Len. We're looking out for you. I know it's important to you. And if someone does mention that they're looking you know, for a realtor, you're on top of my list. You're the guy. Those are Bs. And sometimes they imply, sometimes they indicate, sometimes they write it in an email. Um, and, and family members, because I hope that family members would send you a referral given the opportunity. If they don't, uh, maybe they shouldn't be in your database. And the C's are everyone else, the people you're just starting to work with, the people that you meet at an event of some sort, a wedding, wherever, at the, at the grocery store, those are your C's. And those are the people that you're trying to push up to B's and push up, to, and then the B's are push up to A's. So, you know, when I started out, I, my, my database was like 50 people and they were all C's. Now we're up to about 425, we're up to about 425. And, and mind you, um, we'll do 50 transactions this year, right? 50? Maybe more. 
maybe more, maybe more, but we're on, we're, 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 we're targeting 50 and probably we'll do more. And I'd say 80% are of those are referrals. So we're getting 40 of our referrals from our database, 40 out of our 50 closings from our database. The, the rest are, you know, either sign it, sign call-ins or something online. Um, so, so the point is you have to keep reminding them and moving those people from C to B to A. And we're up to about 450. Every once in a while, we delete someone because we find out that they found another realtor. How that could be, I have no idea. Um, or they move out of state. Um, but even people out of state, if we sold their home here and they're moving out of state, we're gonna stay in touch with them because their neighbors are gonna call them to find out who their realtor was. So. Uh, Ryan, last question to you. Yeah, thank you. Could you uh, talk a little bit? So you mentioned some specifics that you uh, capture in your database beyond just like home anniversary, birthday, you go into like kids, birthdays, things like that. Yeah. Um, is how, I guess one, are you using command to capture that? And are, is there a way to make that, I um, get notifications? I know there are with like client birthday, client anniversary, but you're touching them a lot yeah. more times. So how are you creating those triggers? That was kind of my first question. Yeah. Um, and then the second is related is, to what extent are you automating this? And you, I know you met, mentioned the handwritten, um, but it sounds like you're doing a fair amount of manual sending of things and writing of letters. So I'd love kind of you, your your workflow as, as it pertains to from database, entering people, capturing information and executing upon those events. Yeah, it's a great question. Thanks, Ryan. So. For 10 years, I was using Top Producer, and Top Producer reminded me of everything. And if it were an event, for instance, uh, an anniversary on the closing, we would treat that as a birthday, and we would simply say, birthday of the house. So your question about command is, I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm not, I don't know how to do it yet. So the goal, of course, is to get everything into command so that command can remind us of what those important life events are. I'm not exactly sure whether it's available right now. I know that birthdays are, I'm pretty sure that children's birthdays and anniversaries are available. The question will be then how do you input, you know, sometimes you have to sort of circumvent the system. So if you, you know, if you, if it, if it, if you don't have an anniversary of a closing, you create another child called my house. And that child's birthday is on August 18th. And so therefore every year you get an advance notice. So I know to send out a note. In terms of automating, um, we, we do put a lot of it into handwritten, but we also have, you know, I'll borrow people to send out notes for me because a lot of the notes have pretty much the same copy, but I want it to be handwritten. So I could hire somebody to sit here and write 30 notes in an hour or two and pay them to do that per note or per hour, and it's handwritten, and you know they're not gonna know if it was me or not. It's gonna be signed by me, but they're not gonna know if it was me or not. So would I love it all to be automated? Yes, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, but I think that at some point we will, and it should be available in command. It's one of those things that I think is really important. Um, but I, I am still using Top Producer for a lot of these things. Well, especially because closing dates for the first 13 years of my career are all still in top producer. So for me to take all that data and move it into command is a big deal. It's a really big deal. So um, I, I hope that it will be available. I would love to consolidate everything into one place. And by the way, the smart, the idea of, of smart plans is that, you know, once there's a closing, you're going to be able to remi be reminded on, on the occasions forever when it's time to make a phone call or when it's time to make to write a note and by the way after closing we call them one week after two weeks after one month after three months after six months after and one year after and then every year thereafter so and i and i always make a joke happy happy quarter year anniversary i just want to make sure that everything's going well do you happen to need a carpenter a painter a landscaper, whatever you need, make sure you call me for that. 
because I'm going to refer you to somebody who's vetted, who I trust, a professional, and someone that you could trust. So that's why those very frequent calls in the first year are important. Because we always want them calling us for any referral that they have. Because every time they call us and we send them a referral, we have an opportunity to ask for a referral. And by the way, that's another IAI, immediate actionable idea that you should start encouraging your database to call you for every kind of referral, not just something to do around the home, but for doctors, for dentists, for, I mean, you're, you're a local expert. Uh, and Christine does a great job of this on her social media. You're a local subject matter expert. And that means whatever you need, if it's a dentist, a doctor, or a great restaurant, call me because I'm the person to go to. I think I saw one more question. I'm fine sticking around. I don't know if they need this, if they need this for somebody else, for this, the site for, for another class. No more. If you do have a question, raise your hand. If not, thank you for participating in my first mastermind. I hope it was useful to you. Remember, five, do five, take five things away and do those five things right now. Don't wait. Just, just do them because they're not that hard. They're pretty simple. And contact me if you have any questions or you want samples of anything. Excellent. Thank you so much, Len, guys. Thanks for being here. You bet. My pleasure. We did re record this. So if you guys want to um, rewatch to pick up some pieces that maybe you were writing furiously, uh, this will be posted by tomorrow morning in our YouTube channel. Cool. Thank you.